Thank you, and a very good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my role this afternoon basically would be to just round up what was discussed over the last couple of hours and to tease out some of the points that were highlighted and, and, and I suppose to make it into a, a coherent whole so that as we move forward from this afternoon, is there anything that we can take away with us to uh, further the cause of, of democracy in Singapore? First, let me thank <coughs> the speakers for the erudition. <coughs> some of them delivered some very impassioned speeches and others very instructive. Let me first go straight to the point where there was some common ground. And I just want to highlight what Mr. Ng Tek Seong started off with. And he said, uh, perhaps we should have a common manifesto amongst all the opposition parties. This was reinforced, I believe it was uh, Mr. Jufri Mamu, when he said that more than just coming here and jaw jaw talking <coughs> to each other, perhaps we should all have more common activities. <coughs> Mr. Tan Kin Lian said that perhaps we should put forth a platform of common values, and he listed out four. And he also suggested why don't the opposition parties or uh, the alternative parties that uh, Mr. Tan prefers to use uh, come together with a common website. These are excellent ideas, and I think what we should be doing is <coughs> look a little bit more small as they are <coughs> there must be a start and I think you can take away from this meeting today this forum and have these can you hear me? I apparently I'm a bit soft can you hear from, from behind? okay and we can just take these ideas that we've discussed this afternoon and just start with these It'd be a wonderful, wonderful start. I don't, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't believe that we have had an opportunity like this before where we even just start discussing. We're not able, we're not going to be able to come up with all the answers in one brief afternoon. But let this be a start. Because the more we talk, the more ideas we get. And the more communication we have, the more encouraged we are. Because in this situation, it's, never, it's not a one plus one equals two. There is synergy when groups come together. Mr. Sin Kek Tong <coughs> brought up a very interesting issue. <coughs> and this is the one thing that I couldn't agree more. He talked about the GRC. And this is where I, I think we, we get caught in this position because the GRC, GRC, I beg your pardon, highlights one very important matter as far as the election system here is concerned. And that is the fluidity, the ease of which this ruling party continues to amend the constitution, amend the rules. And this is where I want to bring to the attention of our colleagues as well as civil society activists here. Of this ease of which this government changes election rules. And I believe Mr. Jufri touched on that as well. That as long as the playing field is not level, we can go in election in, election out, and we will have the same results. <coughs> and after 40, I'm, I'm sorry, 50 years, 12 elections, <coughs> we are still loaded with this miserable representation in Parliament. Jufri Mahmoud also brought up the point about Malaysia, and I believe this is also highlighted by Mr. Infeksyong. <coughs> what happened in Malaysia was nothing short of momentous, historic. I think the word used was a political tsunami. And at that time, I remember Singapore was all a buzz talking about Malaysia. Why? Because historically, politically, culturally, Malaysia is very close to Singapore. So we always think that what happens there, would it be mirrored here in Singapore? Maybe. But I'll tell you one thing. 
it's not going to happen anytime soon. Why? Because before 2008, if you had known Malaysian civil society activists, if you had known Malaysian politicians, the amount of sacrifice that went in was so significant <coughs> that it took them years, if not decades. I remember visiting Malaysia in early, mid-1990s. They were in very similar positions to us. Opposition was decimated, almost nothing. Civil society was just so disparate. But they got together. They got smart and they knew that they had to come together in order to make that difference. And therefore, that is why in this forum this afternoon, we deliberately wanted to include civil society. Because this one thing I'll tell you, that without the civil society, you can talk all you want. Oppositions can come together, opposition parties can come together all we want. And we're never going to make any headway. And this is what I guess Mr. Shati Lik was trying to get at when he talked about collective inactivity. It was a play on the word. If we come together, you should see something just a little bit more. But the danger in Singapore is that if we come together, sometimes we tend to drag each other down. That must not, that must not be the result when opposition parties come together. It must not be apparent down. What we need to do is to ensure that not only collectively we grow, but each party, each component, must ensure that the other party grows. That's how we're going to take away from this table. Because each and every party, like it or not, will be asking what's in it for us. If it's just going to benefit the rest of you, what good is it for us to come to the table? <coughs> 